G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my 50 cent collection book already partly filled with the commemoratives we've found so far. And we've got the new Royal Australian Mint 50 cent collection folder that I've recently uh, started, so it's, it's only very fresh. Uh, it's got four pages on it, and we're missing uh, quite a number at this point, predominantly the Centenary of Federation coins, so we'll put that aside. We'll get straight into the coins as we go through the coins. I'll mainly be looking through the re reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins. And as you may be aware, the standard type uh, of 50 cent piece is the coat of arms, and I'll be looking through all of those at the end to find... Uh, coins from years where there were no 50 cent pieces issued for circulation being 1986 87 and then 1990 92 2005 as well as i'll be looking for 1985 and 1993 for low mintage years so we'll get straight into it uh, today our very first commemorative coin is the silver jubilee uh, of queen elizabeth ii in 1977 I've got a significant number of coins today. We're going to go through a relatively larger hunt. So we'll get st stuck into the coins. And when we get through a few rolls, I will speed things up a bit. And then we will uh, only come out when we um, get new coins for the, for the commemorative row at the top and the keeper row at the bottom. This coin is a 1995 uh, 50th anniversary of the end of the Second World War, also known as the Weary Dunlop coin. And that's a very common commemorative, so we'll put that at the top. Common commemoratives that go up the top, keepers or lower minted years go down the bottom, and you'll see that when we finally find one. Hopefully we don't get too many piles, uh, although it is a bigger hunt. Oh, hopefully we won't get overrun with too many commemoratives but we've had a spillage there that's that's okay we have another commemorative common commemorative it's the uh, 2002 uh, year of the outback coin and so we'll keep going into the commemoratives here we have a uh, 2021 which will be the coat of arms that's the current year and we don't know the mintage of those yet so we put those aside we pick out the very best ones i'll put that off camera because we don't necessarily need to see that got another year of the outback there lower minted coins or coins that come from the year or the current year uh, or the previous year where we don't know the numbers we keep those and keep the best of those this is the 60th anniversary of the end of the second world war the remembrance coin We keep them until we know what the mintage is going to be, usually uh, the second year that a Royal Australian Mint annual, review, uh, annual report comes out, and then we, if they're low mints, we keep them. If they're high mint numbers, we throw them back in and we get uh, more coins out. We uh, maybe keep a, a few really, really good examples. Here's a 2001, so that's a Centenary of Federation that's the most common of the Centenary of Federations, the, the Commonwealth coat of arms on it. And that's a common commemory. If we look for the state coins for the Centenary of Federation, the state and territories, there's nine of those. And they are lower minted. And that is a 1993 coin. I saw that off the off the bat and it's a really in really good nick too. Quite a high grade. So that's a low minted, that's one million. So I'll put that down the bottom as a keeper. It's good, uh, good to spot that on the fly. And when we go through all the coins at the end, there's another 2001, it's another coat of arms. When we go through all the coins at the end, we look for the low minted years as well as any errors that we might come across. for the first time in the uh, International Year of the Family from 1994. And another Centenary Federation coat of arms. 
we probably get a significant number of those today. Yeah. And what I'll do, as I say, I'll speed things up after this roll. We've been through four rolls now. We've got a row of com commemoratives. Here is another common commemorative, the Commonwealth Games Brisbane from 1982. That will complete the first row of common commemoratives. And we can put another Weary Dunlop and a family, you're the family down. And now we'll speed things up and we'll only slow down when we find a new coin for the day. And then we'll be... Um, when we finish off, we'll, we'll round up with what we found. Ah, and here we have, I can see that there, it's a 1980 Fiji coin, so it's a, it's a boat, it's a overseas coin, international coin, not one that should be in circulation here in Australia. So I'll put that down as a keeper, we'll put that into the, into the folder. Here for the first time today we have a 2005 secondary school competition winner for a 50 cent design for the Melbourne 2006 Commonwealth Games. And then for the first time today we have the Prince of Wales and Lady Diana Spencer coin, the commemoration of the marriage of the Prince of Wales and Lady Diana Spencer in 1981. First time today, we have the coin from 2000, the Millennium Year, celebrating the Millennium. In this coin, we usually look for a, a variety which, where the centre cross in the flag, the Union Jack flag there, is incused, which means it's dented, dented into the coin. But this is not one of those, so it's a standard variety. We put it up with the common commemoratives. there for the first time today we have a 1998 coin the Bass and Flinders commemorating this discovery of Bass Strait And there, for the first time today, we have a 1970 Captain Cook. And there for the first time today, we have a 2010 Celebrate What's Great, celebrating Australia Day in 2010.
Uh, there I've seen that we've got a 2019 coat of arms, which is a Jody Clark effigy, first <coughs> year minted for Jody Clark. So that's a low minted coin. So we'll put that up with the other coat of arms that we are keeping today. <coughs> ah, we have our first centenary of federation for the day. It is Victoria, the state that I'm currently in, and one of the biggest states by population in Australia, not by size, it's quite small. And here we have our last plain paper roll the, that I've sourced from Armaguard. The rest of the rolls you'll see uh, have uh, printing on them, and they're from Prosiga, which is the the other coin distributor that are, that's currently around. And trying to source coins from different places to try and uh, hopefully pick up my luck. And these are the Prosiga rolls. That's where they get where they come from. And here for the first time today, we have a 2003 Australia's Volunteers. And for the first time today, we have a 2004 second, uh, primary school school competition winner for a 50 cent design. Oh, we'll get through that one first. And then we have another Centenary Federation. This time it is the Northern Territory. This was my bogey coin for the last book. It took me ages to find the Northern Territory, and now we're... Uh, well and truly in it, so we won't get stuck on that one again for this book. That's great.
Oh, and here we go. Another Centenary of Federation, this time the Australian Capital Territory. I think we do have that one for the new book, but we'll see when we get to the end. So that's three state coins, one overseas coin and one low minted coin so far. Going pretty good. Oh, and here we go, another one. This is a Centenary Federation, Western Australia. So what a great one we're having by uh, mixing it up with Prosiga rolls and Armour Guard rolls. It's actually been really nice. We've still got four rolls to go, and the hunt's getting a bit long. Hopefully it'll edit down to a manageable level. Not too long for you guys, and the speeding up will help. I'm quite excited about the amount of keepers that we now we've got this tower of uh, 2001s is sticking out of the of the screen And that brings us on to the last roll. So still a chance to get some uh, commemoratives that we haven't got. I'd love to get some of the newer Aboriginal themed commemoratives, the Year of Indigenous Languages or the IATSIS coin. <clears throat> still a chance also to get some uh, Centenary of Federation coins. This is 1997. That is a low minted coin, but not low enough for me to keep. I've got a significant amount of those. And we end up with a flurry of commemoratives. Another 2001, 2005, and what looks like a couple of oh, coat of arms and a Brisbane. So there you go. That is it for the rolls. Significant row of keepers down the bottom, which is great. Now I'm going to quickly go through the coat of arms, and I'll be back to tell you if I found anything special, and then go through what we found. I'll be back in a sec. Well, I'm back again. So out of the coat of arms, we have another six of the 2021 new minted coat of arms. So we'll put those with the 13 that we got, and I'll go through them after and see only the best. I'm only going to take the best. If they're not the best, they will go back in. I've pulled out another 2019 Jody Clark coat of arms, so that's a low minted. That'll stay. I did also pull out a 50th anniversary of the changeover of, to decimal currency, the changeover coin. So that was the first one of those we got. So that was out of the keepers. I've pulled out a number of very 
decent looking coins over to the side. Uh, a number of very good coins, and they are upgrades to the ones that are currently in the book, the folder, because uh, you only get one chance uh, in the first hunt or so, and so you, you upgrade with better coins as they come along. So now at the bottom row we have a low minted coat of arms, the 1993, which is in pretty good grade. Uh, that's the keeper for the book, or for the collection, sorry. We have a Fiji 50 cent piece from 1980. That'll go into the book as a as a overseas coin come out of the out of the hunt. We have the Victoria Centenary of Federation, which will be new for the book. That'll go straight in. We have the Northern Territory. What did I say? Did I say Victoria? Uh, Victoria, Northern Territory, another new one for the book. We have an ACT, Australian Capital Territory, which we already have in the book, and we have a Western Australia. So we've got four Centenary Federations, but the ACT is already in the book, so three new into the book. That'll be very handy. Uh, so what I'll do now is I will quickly uh, put them into the book and without messing up all these coins and then I'll show you the book uh, with all this cleaned up. Back in a sec. So here we have the book and we have the top row filled in, the second row filled in. We are missing the 25th anniversary of decimal currency of the 1991 Rams head. On the second page we're missing the 2000 Royal Visit as well as into the Centenary of Federations. We're missing New South Wales, Norfolk Island, Queensland. Uh, and we're also missing South Australia, which is a particularly hard one to get. Uh, we've got all the rest on the third page, the third line and the, the second line and the third line. And then on the last page, we are missing the IATSIS coin from 2014, the 2017 Eddie Marbo coin, and the 2019 International Year of Indigenous Languages, which is They'll be quite hard to find, uh, similar to the Centenary of Federation coins. And then we've got the Fiji coin put there as, as a special keeper uh, for the folder. So there you have it. We're done for the 50 cent hunt this week, but I will be back in a couple of days for more hunting. So I'll see you then. Bye.